All right, motherfuckers. Oh, I, I swore. Welcome back. We're playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, we just sent Leon off to his um, execution after we found him guilty for the murder of Sayaka. And uh, it uh, it wasn't fun. Now we're going through a moral dilemma. Monokuma just called us out by trying to make us feel better. And we don't uh, we don't feel better, do we? So let's just get right back uh, right back into it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What was that about just now, Monokuma's message? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so, the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun! It's true, he's right. Boys' life of despair. Boys' life of despair. I woke up the next morning to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do this time? Shit in my mouth? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. <sighs> Pardon me. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift fucking your arms Taka. up and down. Taka's fucking doing it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, now reach you. way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Okay. You trying to fatten us up? <laughs> Oh, wait, no, it's the opposite. Ah, doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. And it's all small stuff. By Patrick C. Brown. I don't know what his name is, but that's actually a book. Ah, that's my motto. Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? It's me. Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So. That is me. Uh, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise. Just to make you exercise. Hey. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness. The power, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of a kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to hey, exercise? Um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? Ah, we're gonna get a new room. You guys? A whole new world is what he said. It, it'd really suck if you had to live here forever with... <laughs> nothing new to stimulate st stimulate you besides i know how you kids get these days with your add and h and, and adht i gotta keep you motivated so go ahead look around all you want enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode all right sounds good with that monokuma disappeared leaving us even more confused than when we'd shown up or he'd shown up uh, what does it matter but a new world Could it be... is he talking about Oh, wait, you're going to shy? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit. Well, we don't know till we look! Hey! Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. Hm. You're basically a one trick pony, you know that? More like a staple food store. <laughs> That's kind of moving. That's fucking lit. I fucking love Taka. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Well, might as well fucking. I I wonder if you can investigate. Uh, are they always watching us? Don't they ever get tired of it? Jeez, took everything I had. I had even just to think about mocking them. So yeah, it's a, it, this is one hundred p a fucked up TV show. 
Something to do with us being the ultimates. All problematic in your own way. Right now, just turn the school crest. Punish me. Um, all right, well, nothing nothing new in there. Junko's body used to be right there. Uh, yeah, let's get on out of here. Hey, it's motherfucking Yasuhiro Agukore. All right, let's... Um, let's use the map. Oh, here, I'm actually gonna... I'll, I'll just save now that we're past the... Oh, I... I I don't need to save. Gym entryway. Hope's Peak first floor. We got Mondo and what's his nuts there? Oh, okay. I get, wait. Can I not look at... Uh... Alright, I don't want to talk to uh, Yasuhiro Hagukare. Um, I want to talk to... Who did I have? I had Celeste, Shihiro... And Toko. Biakia. Biakuya. Would be good to talk to you too, maybe. Besides, play because trophies and other items. Win the championship is probably coming natural. I'm going to school here. Not any fucking more, ho. I want a coin, slut. This one of the monsters. I'd love to smash stupid thing. Um, yeah, let's leave that area. Leave the area. It's. Kiyotaka Kishimaru. Let's check out the boys' washroom. Actually, I need to find out what I'm going to my own new world. Okay, so I'm guessing... Nurse's office, eh? Store. I'm guessing we can still go in the store. Never fucking mind. Alright, let's, let's, let's talk to people then. Why the fuck not? Oh, that's open. I don't think that was open before. Uh, let's let's talk to let's just talk to everybody because I don't think it's gonna punish us if we if we talk to them. Oh shit! All right, well we we know it's uh, it's okay. We missed that, but that's okay. Makoto, look! The block in the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up, but it's also of utmost important to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. Well, I'll leave the school to you. Thanks, dude. Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but <sighs> shit. Yeah. Just like I figured, hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, it's surprised if we made things that hey, easy for us. It. Hey! What? Don't make that face. You look like a puss. You look like a little pussy wussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do you? You already fucking punched me once. No, no, no thanks. I, I, I think I've got enough for now. Yo. Where am I, Toko? Well, okay. I'm going to look for another way out then. Whatever you say, hairstyle. I should look around the school first. I need to find one. I guess I can't go to the first floor. I really don't want to go in. I don't want to see this place ever again. Um, I'm going to guess it says that for all the rooms. Yeah, I should go to the school first. I need to find out what I'm coming in. A whole new world. Well, let's... Is it going to let me go to this despair hotel? Yeah, okay. I guess that's, that's it, isn't it? I don't think there's anything crazy. Some boys and girls washrooms. Narcissofesh. The Narcissofas. Okay, it does let me fast travel there. That's good. I'll talk to Yasuhiro. What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. <laughs> this is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything at all, all that weird in there. In there? Fuck. Sure to be the... Uh, uh, sure to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible oh, trap. This, that stuff you see lined up there? Any good, any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! Let me out! Let me out! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Yes, I want to fucking exit the area, you stupid idiot. Alright, well, let's, let's, let's head on up.
The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Nani is up there. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Uh, interesting. Oh, it's a, there's a pool. There's a pool on the second floor. Holy shit. On the second floor. I feel like that's weird. To get all the water up to the top. Ah, those boards over there, those little foam boards Just are lit. Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool. Pool, pool, pool. Y you don't have to keep repeating it. Okay. I got it. And there's a ton. A fucking metric goddamn ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's going to go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. She's the ultimate swim star. I wonder if the pool is closed after hours. That is a fucking minigun. <laughs> That's fucking gigantic. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we ever? Need, why would we need something like that here? Honestly, holy fuck. Um, a surveillance camera. Even here, we're being watched. Yeah, that's right. Gotta get your pool. Uh, your pool kinks in. Okay, this is great. So two of the people I want to talk to are here. Um. Yeah, let's take a look at this fucking TV monitor thing. This one monitor. Yeah, it's the same fucking shit. Blah be blah blah blah. Uh, life preserver. Looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. <laughs> yeah, or that. You could also call it that. 80. 80 on the dot. 80 on the nostril. There are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf. And a fucking coin, bitch! That's right. It's a keypad, okay. Is this some kind of card reader? I wonder what it's for. Probably for the door that it's right beside Makoto. <laughs> you stupid. Behind this door is the locker room. Yeah. Oh, and guess. Oh, and I guess I need your hand. And I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course. Wow. Really, really. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. If you want to unlock the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the girls' locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. Okay, that's good evidence. But, hmm, but what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks boom, in? Boom. Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. Okay, so a boy, if it's a, if it's a girl following a boy, it has to be a boy killing a boy or a girl killing a girl in their respective locker rooms. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the yeah. ceiling, right? And it'll be all duka 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 duka. Just a second. <laughs> Probably. Um. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be a little worse than that. Mm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and w w that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ah. Well, I that never even occurred to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, hmm? so devilish. Hmm, okay, then how's this sound? Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there. So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone have lent their handbook out in the first place. Okay? After all, they would be likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um, but you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course. It's because all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at that age, you'd be trying to hump. You'd be, you'd be, you'd be try humping a plastic bottle. It's okay. <laughs> so to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. Then, in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and woman. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes. Yes. I, I don't care what happens to your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so See much. Ya later. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. See ya, oh. bitch. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to you cheer myself it. up. Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? me? 
There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll pass this time. Uh. How come when you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it? I'm pretty sure that only applies. I don't know. That's that's not. I I could get that. Swimming around. The girls' locker room card reader. I'm listed as male in my e handbook, so I can't open this door. <laughs> um, let's actually look at the door. The door to the girls' locker room. I have no way of unlocking it, so I couldn't go in if if I wanted to. Okay, so let's make sure we remember there. So you could lend your hand. You can't lend your handbook out to anybody else, and you um. You can't lend your handbook out to anybody else, and if you sneak in, that's also prohibited. You'll get fucked up by the Gatling gun. So, it has to be a boy in the boys' room and a girl in the girls' room if a murder takes place in there, which I'm guessing it fucking might, based on how much we're talking about the. Oh, okay, shit. I want to talk to. Uh, I want to talk to fuck nuggets out there a little bit more. Did they leave? I swear to God, if they left. Okay, thank fucking Christ. I was like. <laughs> Celeste! The second floor has opened up. The living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. That's nice. Do you understand? <laughs> if things continue like this, the occasional class trial might not be so bad. <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright, uh, Owie. Okay. The locker room connects to the pool. It looks super nice. It fucking big! That's fantastic to swim in. Ah, I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? Ah. <laughs> uh, hey there, she hero. Have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um. No, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Ye yeah, you do seem like the type. The type that might not be into that kind of thing. But. Still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have the, all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Well, if I have to fight off a motherfucker trying to murder me. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough, brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker um... room. It's not that I don't want to. It's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? There's that pretty weird phobia, though. That's going to be relevant later, I, su I suspect. It was Chihiro in the locker room. Wait! It wasn't, you stupid bitch! What the fuck is that over there? Ah! <laughs> Terms of service. Oh, shit. Well, let's look at everything else. Amon, ooh, in the locker room? Yeah, how long am I gonna be uh, locked in here being watched by all these cameras? Is kind of what it said. I honestly didn't fucking read it that closely. That's the door to the pool. Uh, oh. I'm starving for information from the outside world. If only it was a TV that worked. Oh, there is, and you're on it, kiddo. Does that say? Oh, I thought that said "fuck you." <laughs> Yuck, yawn. Uh, it's a very interesting poster. Obviously, someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this here? You know? Yes. Just kidding. I don't know. Probably not. Um, wow, look at that fat fucking pool. Holy shit, that's a big fucking room. Mm-mm-mm. Why isn't... Um... Ow, oh, he's not in here. Ah, uh, where all the windows would have been. All bolted up. The Bletchers. Oh, no, it's the stand. Oh, you can actually move over here. Doesn't look like there's anything around. Well, that's that's fine for me. Wow, wow, wow. Hello? Okay, let's, let's go over here. In the pool, <laughs> standing on water, Makoto. Makoto is Jesus Christ, ultimate religious icon, ultimate messiah. Lockers, well, I would expect to see that in any normal pool. Nice, a fucking coin. Doesn't let us look at the cameras. All right, well, is that, I, wait, is that it? I feel like there's more. Lockers, well, I expect to see that in any normal pool. Oh, okay. The pen and the sword, is that the crest? I just noticed. Leave the pool? Yes, I would. 
Nice locker room. Okay. Chuck Ching. Uh well, I think we've already Yeah, okay. It's it's just the same shit. Do you un <laughs> I fucking do, Celeste, you crazy motherfucker. Alright, let's get out of yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So this is good. We can talk to everybody. That's the pool. That's the pool. This is the girls' bathroom. If you ever took one step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone else's eyes, and that'd be it for me. It's very fair. Not that he didn't say he didn't want to. He just said that people would judge him for it. Makoto is the fucking... He is Kira. What's down there? This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Maybe some bleach. Some bleach. <laughs> and not the anime. Hey, everybody. I want to apologize for that last one. Thank you very much. Um, The third floor... Bitch. The gate's blocking my way. So there's still another floor, which means that everything has opened up yet. And we're expecting more fucking death. It's like Big Brother, but um, all of the people in the house actually get to do what they want to. The baby is sleeping. Please be, please be quiet. It's Sakura. Surveillance camera. They're watching every single move we make. Surveillance for what? I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. Even if the time was wrong, I wouldn't have any way of really knowing. <coughs> I really don't like that. Excuse me. That was a fatty. Holy shit, still up there. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now, it's just showing the school crest. If I break it, Monokuma might come and punish. If I break it, Monokuma might come and punish me. It had the asterisks before, but. Now it um, doesn't happen anymore. Check out these windies. I guess I should be surprised when the second floor too. The windows uh, here have those same metal plates covering them. Big fat fucking bolts, dude. Those are I love that shit. Yeah, I really love this game. In any normal classroom, this is where a window would be, but the windows here have those same metal plates covering them. That's fucking weird. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. All right. Yeah, let's... No, I want to... Baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. The child sleeps. Ah, okay. That's the bath... Okay, so that little door... Above where this arrow is, that's where the bathroom cleaning su supplies are. I love how the boys and girls fucking change rooms are... A speedo and then a full full fucking swimsuit. Ah, the library. Just a little reading area, a little study area. At my university, we had uh, this nice build. We had a lot of nice buildings actually for studying. It was a really nice campus. Um, it was just surrounded by forests, um, actually, which is really nice. You got to take a lot of walks and just it, was, it just made the scenery a lot prettier. So it it kind of sucked if you like partying, cause then. <laughs> He ain't gonna get a chance to party, but all right. Uh, I've already talked to Chihiro. Let's talk to Toko. You know, what? let's let's take a look around everything first. I'm starving from nation of the outside world. There was a TV that worked. That's same shit. Same shit, different day. Let's take a look. How long am I gonna be stuck in here, being watched by all these cameras? I don't fucking know. Probably for quite a fucking while, my coconut. Uh, the shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, where is in charge of upkeep? It's been pretty lazy. Pretty lazy. Strange. Strange! The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Yeah, okay, same shit. Same fucking shit. Tell me- Oh! <laughs> the coin. My boogers are falling out of my nose. They're not. Don't judge me for it. A desk. A little study desk. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Okay. Actually, this is good. I'm kind of- I'm- I'm- wasn't really thinking about it, but there's a thick layer of dust and everything. So if anyone comes in here, that might be a clue. Dusting for fucking prints. 
As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep is pretty lazy. Strange. Shit. I'm fucking rolling in it now, bitch. A letter. <laughs> this shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. Oh my god. Gas attack, dude. Oh my god. What's going on? I'm being fucking attacked. I got stretched out. Guys, right, Lada. This is so much fun. I can't wait. Um, I hope the sequels are just as good as this one. Because this, this game's fucking lit. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But... We shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Right? What we shouldn't do is leave this leave this here without finding out what's inside. Honestly, I agree. Oh, okay. I broke the seal of the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope Speak Academy, actually, it's the executive office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. That <laughs> They wrote that in the letter. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, uh, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental governmental author, uh, author, authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? So they, they're shut down. Hmm. hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak Academy had stopped functioning as a school, and judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. So this is a ploy that the school wasn't actually under operation. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could at least... It could, uh, could be at least a year old. Holy shit. So you're saying Hope's Peak, Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago. Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. Hmm. Governmental authorization? But but that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words, that must all have been part of the mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is However, real. If it is real though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be nice. That would be a nice, simple solution. It's true. But then, what about this other part? The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our, clo forcing our closure have been resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If... The two events are in fact connected. Uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. So, in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. But, the mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... She da doo da wow ba da. I just want to look at that one more time. Is it gonna go through the whole thing? It would see. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Most likely. Mm. <laughs> However. Very right, close down. That's been why this and the series. Is, is there any connection between that and what's happening just now? now? Yeah. 
I'm yeah to everyone to everyone when he said when he said to everyone it was like he kind of made loan <laughs> the fuck uh I think I checked everything Fumi yeah it's just the letter it's not the actual shelf let's check out this uh check out this laptop looks like a laptop the laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust so it's broken I tried pressing the power button earlier but nothing happened it's broken huh too bad I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Anyway, now I have a pretty uh, good idea of what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I could do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Oh shit, okay, that's it. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. I'm guessing if you don't... Okay, so next time what we should do in that situation, we should talk to people. Because I don't think talking to people counts as a like, time spent. Okay, ladies and gent gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone uh, discover any s interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library okay. and a pool. A freaking pool! A locker room full of entertainment! Well, there was not, however, anything resembling. God, I'm fucking itchy. It's not my nut system. It's my fucking back of my goddamn thigh. What is up? All right, well, anyway. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and the listen. warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now you open. Hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. Are you <laughs> okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. It's Yo. weird that she brought that up. Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, um... What? There wasn't anything what? in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Uh, uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on! You fucking people! What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse? Or whatever Stop the fuck? We're still tra trapped in this place. Oh, she's. <laughs> we're still trapped in this. We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> oh my god, I, that freaks me out every time it happens. Froggy Pog, thank you very much for the for the follow. I really appreciate it. Wow, wow. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, now. There's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key. Yes. For now, we must find. We must each find a way to, to enjoy our current situation. This, oh, there's some of the boys. Oh, it's definitely gonna be fucking murder in the locking room. In the locking room. The locking room. That's right. You piece of... <laughs> Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our... <clears throat> For now, let's just continue our investigation. Let everyone know if you should discover so something. Then. So, are we done for today? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess so. Bye, Grandma. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the Masterman's plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? Yeah, honestly, probably. Oh. Uh, Biakia. That was, um. Uh, yeah, that was weird for him to do the little dot, dot, dot. Uh, okay, so we talked to Shihiro. Well, I mean, like, not really. We didn't really talk to them. God, I just need to talk to everybody. I'm just gonna write his name down. Ding dong, ding dong. It's fucking nighttime. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. We all promise not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. I guess I'll just rub one out and head to sleep. Mr. Monokuma. Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. 
I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard you see cutout. What I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? That's fucking weird. That was really fucking weird. Oh my god. And I had didn't shower again today before stream. I got home and I cleaned the car out and then I <laughs> didn't shower. And I look like shit. Good smell morning, like turd. Everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. You certainly oh, got right. it. Oh, yeah? I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Okay. New regulations have been added. So please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. I definitely fucking will. The new rule has been added to the regulations, man. To the regulations. Is no F three doesn't do anything. Uh, let's look up regulations. Students may reside only within the school. Students uh, leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. So even if you do get out, you're gonna fucking die. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 p.m. I'm just sleeping in the dorm, so we've seen sleeping in class, punch accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to um, cut. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited as strict surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Uh, if the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the guilty party is not exposed, uh, they alone will graduate and all remaining students will be executed. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. That's okay. So I'm guessing he, that's the reason they said something. They have that line in there just in case you don't go to the pool for some reason. Um, for some reason, if you're stupid, not like me. <laughs> funny, funny man, funny boy. All right. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta get some breakfast. Let's look for some coins. This metal plate. More than anything, I want to find a way to pull it off. But that it's just impossible. Let's look at all this shit. Someone's using these cameras to watch people die. Ignoring them is really the only way I can resist them. Or this, resist my sexual urges. That's the same as the other one. Notepads. It's the same note from four. I can't think of anything that I need it for right now. How's my toolkit? It's the toolkit. It still hasn't been opened. Well, I don't think I need it right now. What about my lint roller? How's that doing? The lint roller. There's definitely less of it uh, left than there was at the start. What about my bed? I never really paid attention to my bed or anything up till now, but man, my old bed at home really was the best. Oh, that one fucking hit me harder. <laughs> there isn't anything remarkable or noteworthy about the trash can. Shit. <laughs> me, me IRL. There isn't really anything noteworthy about the trash can. <laughs> just kidding, I love myself. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. I'd love to just smash this stupid thing. No coin, huh? What about the bathroom? They certainly fucking did. I can't let myself turn away from Sayaka's death. For Sayaka, for myself. Yeah, the bathroom is like spicking goddamn span. It looks nice. It looks really good. Leave the area. Did I, did I see everything possible? Yeah, we're good. Let's, yeah, let's leave the area. And with that, I took a big fat shit. Um, the bath. No, laundry was, laundry was always open. Bath was always open. It's they're probably gonna say like, oh, check out the blah blah blah. What's on the map? Is everyone in the? Everyone's there. Yeah, I can't go to the. I can't go to the um, next floor. Taco was right. We really can get in here now, but the others must be waiting for me in the dining hall. Excuse me, what? Let's see. Let's see. Did um that was a sneaky little trick? Uh, switching uh, switching the, the fucking nameplates on the rooms. Poor old Leon, you dumb hoe. Leon, he's gone for good. That's fucking right, bitch. Sent that motherfucker packing. All right, 
Yeah, no one else is here. Whoa! <laughs> it's like asteroids. Whoa! 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 Alright, anywho. Uh, let's head to the dining hall. Speaking of dining, I'm getting fucking hungry. But that's okay. 11.48 hey, a.m. Morning, Makoto! Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope. Still waiting on uh, Biakia. Bia oh, God, I wrote it the fuck down. You know, I, I probably said that right. Biakia and Taka. Taka? Biakia is no surprise. Biakuya. Biakuya. Biakuya is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is <sighs> I am thirsty. Damn. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make some, me some tea? Mm -hmm. uh? <laughs> milk tea, if you please. You know what, Fumi, if you're whipping up some milk tea, I'll have some too, actually. I want, and you know what I need right here? I need a big fucking jug, like this fucking big. Like this this big about three feet off the ground of just milk tea big fucking and not even like not even like a lot of little boba i just want to make one big fucking boba just fucking this fucking big and you just kind of like scoop away at it with a spoon you know what i mean well why me let's see you're <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that got me good. <laughs> I don't know why. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. <laughs> That's your reason? It reminds me of the boba. This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out quickly. Drying out quickly, please. Oh, oh um. well, since you fucking fat shamed me, I don't, I don't. I guess why the hell not? Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hafumi skulked, skulked his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Hifumi we, we appeared. He reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle Arima, growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you, you could have made some for, for the rest of us, you know. <laughs> Bitch, speak up next time, motherfucker. No way to think I emphatically... Sense kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving this report, baby. I'm loving this romantic arc. I emphatically declined. You're not my type at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the law of causality. Basic instinct. Act and react. <laughs> Her tiny little hands. She has tiny little hands. Well then, if you don't mind. Sorry, this slurping is fucking terrible. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait, I have a peanut butter cup here that I could use. Wait. It smells gross. What the fuck's that about? She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Crash. What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? Mm. I hate this kind of tea. Um, um I don't understand. Yes, indeed. I imagine we are at a coffee shop. Imagine we are at a coffee shop. Just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Okay. They then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? What a different world. Now, further imagine that I replied, ah, yes, I would like the milk tea, please. Oh, lemon tea? I don't know. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk. Yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I'm among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. Oh, they'll bring the tea... You know what? I'm honestly very on. I'm I'm on Celeste's side here. It's it, tea making is a fucking. It's a whole process. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Uh, what is adding right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Adding milk or lemon. Yeah, right before you drink is like. Yeah, I do. Um, I I am I'm on the same page. I do. I I do like the what? I, okay. Sugar in first. Then I add the milk. And then I let that ride on top of the sugar. And I, I use that to determine how much I want, actually, of each. And then I let that soak for a little bit. If I'm at work, I'll heat that up, stir that up, melt everything. Nice little 
nice little uh nice little sh stuff going there a little little nice uh mixture and then i just put everything on top stir that up heat it up one last time if i'm at work and then uh bingo bango bongo that's your that's your fucking that's it whenever i'm looking for a cafe i first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea and i cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process okay never mind this is different she's I, she's talking about how they make milk tea and i don't know um I, I don't know if she's talking about like milk, but anyway. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Uh... I went to all that trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even farther? You wanted me to go even further beyond! Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Two dots, I think was that time, but did they fuck that up? I hate when there's two dots at the end of it. It's like three or one. Half in, half out, no. Even if cat, even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, <laughs> but why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, well um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch. Holy shit, I fucking love Celeste. <laughs> Holy shit, she's a goddamn psychopath! <laughs> that does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for. Swine! Say what? <laughs> that was good voice acting. Uh, okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. <laughs> I do love, I do so love coercion. The little metal thing she had in her finger. If you know what I mean. You were like a totally different person just now. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man. She's one scary bitch. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals. Oh, came storming in. I thought they meant there was like adding a new student and I was like, Nani? But bad news, everyone. There was a mystery afoot. He said, interesting. Celestia, hi. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Get the sunglasses on. <laughs> Celestia gang. Yeet, yeet. Put these bitches back on now. My fucking smudge glasses. I had a cloth, I don't know where it went. You know what? I'm wiping my glasses down. That's good. Let's do it. Bad news, everyone. There is a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened, my man? It would seem Bayakia refuses to leave his room. I'm smart. He doesn't want to die. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over. But he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there? I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. <laughs> what he meant by that. He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look Listen for him. To me. Ah, I, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one up everyone. Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just going to keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well, then. Very well. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, <clears throat> too late. Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Biaki. Biakia. Biakuya. Biakuya. Whatever. <laughs> Shit. So where might Biakuya have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. All right. They're trying to tell us that's where he went. Uh, okay. I did want to talk to fucking Celeste. Um, let's, let's save. Let's get that shit fucking... No, that's the wrong button. Let's get that fucking shit saved. We are now in the overwrite overriding position is that night was the December December 12th 13 days oh. to Christ's mass everybody get your fucking shit together um all right well I guess I'll just check this stuff and get coins uh and we'll just go with that. I don't have time to worry about the clock right now. But I do have time to worry about cash money, bitch. <laughs> you can use these cameras to watch this this whole time. It's a few but I have to try and not think about it. 
All right, well, uh, this, okay, apparently, let's talk to her, because this counts to f Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Byakuya? I have not had my tea yet. Eh? As for me. Until my thirst is satisfied, I have nowhere to do anything. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hufumi to move faster. Oh, okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? Oh, yeah, Hufumi's still in the kitchen. Um, they, have, they didn't replace the knife. Interesting. Actually, I actually want to check that out. That one specific knife is still missing. Sayaka. Sayaka. Sayaka took one of the knives that was here, and then she got yeeted upon it, as one would say. As a biblical boy would might have said. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. They even put them in the kitchen. It's possible to cook it here, but think about how we could reappear at any second. It's possible to cook at all, because I don't fucking know. I bet the girls would go crazy if something this big was filled with cakes and sweets and stuff. No, that's the wrong thing to be thinking of right now. I think that's the wrong thing to be thinking right now. Bitch, I'd go fucking crazy if that was full of sweets. I don't fucking fish. It's fine, I guess. I don't know. I don't like it that much, I suppose. Who's to say? Fuck off. How's that milk tea coming there, boy? Ah, is that a bell pepper? Oh no. It's just paprika. It's shit, is paprika not I don't know what paprika I <laughs> when I think of paprika, I just think of the spice. Balance camera in the kitchen. Yeah. How you doing, my man? Mr. Nagy, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Biakuya. Biakuya. No one's seen Biakuya this morning. So I've decided, we've all decided to go look what? for him. What? That's not however. good at all. <laughs> ah, however, this little piggy needs to. I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. To bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. Fumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. All right, well, that's all done. We're all done in here. Yes, let's get that out of the fucking kitchen. I got nothing else to say to Freak McGee over there. She's so thirsty. Uh, okay, let's check the actual map. So who we got out there? We got Toko and Aoi. Bathhouse. Dressing room. Uh... Oh, right. She's outside his room. He's in the warehouse. Yeah, okay. So we talk to these two. Gym, second floor. Gym, first floor. Hallway, second floor. Kyoko. Hallway to first floor. Oh, dermatory. Dermatory. <laughs> dermatory. All right, uh, hmm. I mean, no one's in the bathhouse. Is just having a bath? This might be the time to dishonesty. Oh, never mind. I'm fucking wrong. What was I thinking? Oh, I see you get into the bathhouse. Sauna. Hmm. All right, let this might be a good time to check out host piece second floor. This might be a good time to check out whatever this is. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do that. Uh, cause I, I, this is the one thing I didn't check out before. Reality isn't everything. <laughs> okay. Under fucking stood. Looks like it's the same shit. Same shit, different day. Who's here? The single plates covering them. No coin though for me. Or no, but, but what about blocking them so they can't see anything? Maybe we're not, but yeah. Nope, still not bringing up to try it. Honestly, fair. <laughs> it reminds me, okay, there's this one thing in movies, like I, it was kind of a trope in movies where like people be sneaking into a place and what they would do to fool the security camera while the guard wasn't looking is they would just take like a, a photo of the room where the security cam camera was pointing at and they would like tape it over the security camera so that that's what the, that's what the, the so when the, the guard looks at the secu security camera, they would just see the image of like the still image of the fucking, of the, the room. But the thing is, here, I'll, let's just say for example, that I have, an, I have a perfect image in my room on this sheet of paper right here. Uh, this is what happens when I tape it to the fucking screen, to the, to the lens. It's bullshit! Stupid motherfuckers. I always wanted to explain that. You can buy presents from the mono machine on the first floor. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. I was I wasn't uh I I was buying presents and I know during free time I could give them I could give them out after I talked to them, but maybe uh but I, I will I do have some right now. 
but I have a lot of coins, honestly. So I might uh, try and hit that area up. But thank you. I, I know I, I, I do appreciate the tips because learning this shit is uh, is good stuff. Um, which actually that's a good point. I might check that out. Uh, I already did that. Uh, I might check that out. All right, not in classroom two B. Um, let's check out the map. Archive. Mm -mm -mm. Let's school store. No one's down here. Let's let's check out. I'm gonna go in the library. I'm gonna go in the library. I'm gonna go in the library and we're gonna see what's happening. Because I didn't get a chance to go into the. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Biakia? Oh, he's just reading. Whew. Yes, yeah, that's right. And if you put in more, it's um it doesn't uh it's less likely to repeat. The percentage goes down, right? Of all the things I'd imagine, this most definitely hey, wasn't one uh, of them. What are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? Nice I'm dummy. trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no. <laughs> what are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. We've all been Who looking for you. you to do that. Coins in for one rolls just lower the chance of getting dupes. Mm -hmm, okay, okay. Because we're all, we're all supposed, supposed to, meet to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? I promise. Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? No, bitch. Biakuyas. Biakuya. Yeah, Biakuya steps, snapped his book shut, and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up, one after another. I should have known he's in the library. Fucking library. Tagami, so this is where you've been hiding. Uh, the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. <laughs> Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. We'd 100% had a fucking reason to be. I've never read such a coarse novel, uh, such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well, what, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well. <laughs> oh, wait, so are you going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> if I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <clears throat> His words sent a chill down my fucking peepus. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. As he spoke. So, fuck. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean? Game! That's fucked up! But it is a game. It literally is. I am playing a game. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It's a zero sum game. Are you okay with this? It's a part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. You mean, like, a kind of elimination match? Actually... Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to, for you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. Is In this okay? case, our limited resources that only one of us can successfully become the Black Act. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That, that, that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. The little finger thing. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue pl playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. You freak. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. Of course. 
You do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Tagami heir apparent. <sighs> um, it's it's just normal arrogance, just isn't it? <laughs> Turned off for a second. You talk like that, but what if you ended up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. He's trying to egg him on. He's trying to egg on Mondo to make it look like he fucking piece killed. Of shit. To make it look like he killed. Because he's. Motherfucker's gonna die. And. <laughs> Mondo isn't, isn't pleading a great case here with this next line. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said. I won't die. You keep saying that, but do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. Come out of the womb! Come out of the womb faster! He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it's a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Byakuya? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> it is because I'm the same as you. Games are meant to be That's won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? No. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friend is... is... That's horrific. Couldn't have said it better myself. Friends, who decided that? Huh? It's true, honestly. When she was like, you're friends with Leon. And I was like, bitch, I, no, I ain't. Um, we're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. Ugh, no, oh, this fucker. You know. What? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling um, you. Uh, come um, on. Yeah. If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your little mouth closed, you dirty wench. Uh, I'm sorry. As you should be, Chihiro, for being, for being a fucking <laughs> pile of shit. Not her, I mean, whatever, the other guy. Fuck him. Hey, shithead, you get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You want to try that on <laughs> me? So, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of gibberish. a bitch! That's it. You're fucking Just dead. Just a second! Oh, hold on. Just calm down. Piece Let's, of shit! Uh, I am calm. <sighs> how is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of Not time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Ugh, shit. <laughs> Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or Goodbye. something. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want to do. To, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Farewell. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Biaki, you left. Um, there wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. Except breaking his legs and watching him writhe around on the ground in agony. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. Right. Was he serious about all that? Mm -hmm. He was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Sans a doubt. Well, fuck him then. We'll, we'll fuck him then. Maybe. But, but what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. Toko? Don't you go fucking crazy on me now. I mean, can, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Mm -hmm. Hey, come on. You too, Toko. Anyway. It's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you, you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. Like, not all of us think that would be more accurate to say. You. you just think you don't... You you just think you don't think that. <laughs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. You think I, I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. What the heck? And I'm sure the rest of you want the same th thing, don't you? I, hey, Toko, wait! <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Makoto says dot dot dot. 
ultimately our breakfast beating came to an end without answering any questions all right you know what we're gonna pause i'm still streaming this but we are gonna pause this youtube episode here for now um so what did we learn today i can't fucking remember biakia is pretty much fucking going balls to the wall not giving a shit about anybody so that's uh that's that's what's going on there um and yeah so we'll, we'll just have to figure out to see where this goes uh didn't Got to look around some of the other areas. Um, probably going to check out the mono machine again and um, try and buy some good stuff, see if we can get some more gifts. I have some gifts for certain people that I think would work, like the the math problem for Chihiro. Um, and Celeste. I don't know. Talk to Toko, too. Somebody tell me to talk to Toko. At this point, I'm like, I, I really do want to talk to everybody because it's hard to say who's going to die next because Junko never talked to her and she just fucking, she was, she was gone on uh, that one episode. But... Um, anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, nice job. Nice job. Cheers, Epic Gamer. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you are watching on YouTube, I appreciate it. And, uh, hope you're having a good time watching this. Hope that, um, you know, life is good. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching this and you're about to go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, doing the same thing. Just go to fuck the sleep. You pleasant little whore. And with that, I send you my love. All right. No, bye. Thank you, though, for watching. Bye.